Hi guys, I just wanted to take a quick second to show you how to set up SeaWatch. Basically, what you do is go to any of your domains that you wanted to set up. I'll go to this one since I haven't set it up yet. And you'll see the new dashboard here in case you've already logged in previously. Uh, usually, these would all show up uh, as a wide menu across the bottom here, but my screen's a little small, so it's going to give me the uh, smaller screen option. So I'll go ahead and click the first one that I want to go to as it's in order via here. We'll go to malware first, and it's pretty simple. Once here, it just lets you enable the scanner. You have two options. First is automatic. Uh, basically, you provide FTP or SFTP credentials, preferably those F FTP credentials so that it's secure. And they will go ahead and upload the uh, malware scanner directly to your site files uh, for you. The other option is manual, at which point all you have to do is click this PHP file, go ahead and download it, save it, uh, load up your server and put that where it works best for you. Once there, provide the file location here for them to ping uh, to make sure it's working and go ahead and enable scanner. Once that's done, you'll have a little check mark here to start weekly automatic uh, scans. Make sure to go ahead and check that. But other than that, malware is now scanning. And if you ever find anything, uh, there's an automated um, system to notify you if there is a problem. And you can go ahead and request malware cleanup. They have options for automatic cleanup as well as manned cleanup where an actual dedicated security analyst can go in and delete it for you. And by doing that, it, they make sure that uh, they're only deleting the malware. And if there's anything they can't delete because it may take down your site, they can work with you to fix it uh, on a case by case basis. Next up, we will jump to the CDN. So from the CDN page, uh, if it were set up, you would see uh, all your dashboards here and get specific information, um, CDN settings, but we'll jump directly to activation is the first thing you want to go to. Again, two options. You can change uh, your name server. They give you a number of options there, basically copy that and paste it wherever your name servers are on your server. Uh, you can check your onboarding guide for specifics on cPanel options, uh, but it can work with almost any server. Uh, if the uh, server name change does not work for you, you can always do a DNS direct change uh, and they provide you the two values for a C name change and your A value. Um, and those are specific based on your website. They won't work with any others and uh, based on your server instance. So go ahead and do that. Once you do set that up, you'll get green check marks uh, next to whichever ones you've changed. These can take up to 24 hours to activate. Um, based on your server, but once that goes into activation, it's pretty much instantaneous. You won't have any downtime and you'll go from on your specific server uh, up onto the CDN in exchange. Um, after you have it activated, uh, you'll want to come over to the CDN settings and set them up. Uh, standard settings are already pre up there, but if you have specific needs, you can go ahead and make those changes here. Specifically, the caching time. How often do you want the CDN to check your server to see if there's any changes and copy the files accordingly? Um, whether or not you want to serve expired content. Um, and then over here, the purge file options. You, If you're working on a specific web page, you can go ahead and provide the file path uh, and purge that site so that it'll automatically be checked the next time somebody goes to it. You can also purge all files. Again, this will delete every page and file from your site from the CDN, and those will be recopied to the CDN on the next time somebody needs it. Um, of course, you can go ahead and be that next person so it automatically loads uh, and maintain that fast load time. One of the most important settings here are the site settings here with the origin IP. Obviously, that'll be uh, pulled from your origin server when you set up the CDN. And secondarily, the custom host header and the origin protocol. Uh, make sure these match whatever you have on your origin server slash uh, CMS 
program. Um, specifically, if you have it sent to HTTPS like it should be, um, as we expect all our clients to be on uh, and resellers to be on, then uh, you'll want to make sure that it says it here because if one says HTTPS and the other says HTTP, it'll be basically in a redirect loop and people won't be able to access this, your site. So again, just make sure that these two match what's on your origin server. Finally, down at the bottom, we have edge settings. These are how basically going to control how your site is managed by the CDN. Um, uh, many of them are focused on speeding up your website um, and each website and server instance uh, will have specific things that it needs to do or not do so i won't give you any suggestions here but if you have questions you can always highlight the i next to each option and it'll give you a brief overview of it each button may have additional options once you press it such as here you can uh, decide to come the compression level if you gzip compress and uh, likewise all of these will have certain things um, if you decide to make any of those changes you can go ahead and update when you're done um, of course ask your web developer what's best for you um, if you do have specific questions on that you can always use the online chat with us and komodo will help you or your clients to make a decision on what's best for you and your site that said, CDN is ready to go. You are on it. Your site is now faster. Let's move on to the next one, which will be SSL. So as SSL resellers, obviously, we want to maximize SSL. So if you or your client has purchased an SSL, especially if those SSL have additional features, even the domain validated may have a specific site seal that you want to put on there to maximize your client's or your end user's trust, make sure to upload your SSL, your paid for SSL, to get all of the features to show up on your site. To do that, you simply go to the upload your SSL certificate link over here, provide the certificate itself, just copy paste the text file that we provide you right in there. Uh, if you want to do the entire chain, you can go ahead and paste it there. And then finally, the certificate key. This is the private key. This is the thing that we tell you never to give out, but, uh, as it was created on your origin server, you will need to provide it here in order for the CDN servers to recognize it and use it correctly. Um, so don't give it out to anybody else except your CDN. And then once you have all that pasted in, go ahead and click the upload SSL certificate. It may take uh, a minute or two, sometimes even up to an hour, depending on the private key situation. Um, but any third party or Komodo or Sectigo or any other uh, SSL should work. Um, if you do have any issues, feel free to chat again with Komodo uh, chat. Um, and if you don't already have a certificate for this one, shame on you, uh, you should go buy one, um, but you can use the Komodo Edge certificate here. Now, both of these options, whether you upload your own or you use their edge certificates are only for the end user. So whoever your end client is, or your client's end client is accessing the website. It's just between them and the edge server. It does not secure data traveling between your edge server and your origin server and back. So make sure that that origin server does still have a certificate on it. Um, whether from us or otherwise, make sure that all of your data in transit is secured. Now that we have encrypted the site, let's finish off with the firewall settings. From here, basically go to firewall, click that settings tab up in the top, and basically all you got to do is click this and it will be enabled. As you can see, this is a lower license. This uh, is only a basic license. I will show you a few things in a premium license in a moment, but if they want the WAF, your client wants the WAF, they'll click this upgrade license and it will end up redirecting them to your site to pay for the increased license. With the Pro WAF, Web Application Firewall, you can basically you'll get automatically all the basic rules that a website should have as far as a firewall goes. 
For each of these rules, they are managed, added, uh, and controlled by Komodo to make sure that the site is standardly uh, protected. They work mostly to slightly overprotect, um, but they are not uh, customizable. They are on-off switches. You can go ahead and click this on or off if you need to, and it's pretty much uh, instantaneous. It took a few seconds to activate there. I'll go ahead and turn it back on so that this site doesn't go down. Um, but you can go through each of these and uh, get more information as necessary. Um, and each one may have multiple uh, things below it. Uh, one that I like to point out is the CSRF attacks. So this is specifically so that people, so hackers can't upload executable large files to your site and uh, crash it, hack it, add malware, etc. Um, but let's say that one of your clients or your client's clients needs to upload a large file to you to the uh, website owner. Um, maybe this is a legal doc or something, whatever it is, if they need to upload a file over 25 megabytes, uh, the CDN and the WAF will stop it at 25 megabytes. Anything under 25 will be fine, but if it goes over 25, the CSRF will stop it. If you need to make that specific situation, you can go ahead and turn it on or off off for a long time, off for a few minutes, off for an hour, uh, you can always come back and turn it right back on within a matter of minutes so that you can easily go and uh, receive those files when necessary and protect yourself otherwise. Uh, as with all of these, as you can see, on off is great, but there could be more. What if you have a specific client that you know is going to be uploading large documents and you don't want them to get stopped by that CSRF? That's where the premium license comes in. We will quickly switch over to a domain that has a premium license. From here, if we go to the firewall, <coughs> It still looks the same, but as you can see, I have custom WAF rules. Premium is the only one that does allow this. And uh, basically, if you need to, you can go ahead and click the add new rule. So let's say that we know that there is a client. We have their IP address. Um, I'm just going to put in a fake one. I'm sure you'll note this as an internal one, but it works for what we're doing. And we want to allow Joe to upload large files. So long as he comes in from this IP address, uh, then we will be able to allow it. Um, specifically, you can go through here and allow specific content types. Um, let's just say it's a PDF every time. I obviously don't know how to use this. Um, certain file extension. There we go. That's what I meant. PDF. Uh, and then we can go ahead and allow those. You do always need a name. Uh, put in the specific criteria. You can put as much as you want, three, four, 10. Um, and then from there, you can allow block add a captcha basically so that they can prove that they are human. And then finally, you can monitor them. Uh, so you still want to allow it, but you want to track it and be notified what's going on. Uh, finally, we'll go ahead and save that one. And um, it goes a little bit further than that. So obviously here, uh, it's great to be able to customize it, but let's say you don't remember the IP address, you don't want it to worry about uh, accidentally copy pasting or typing the IP address wrong, or if maybe it's a country that you want to control uh, stuff from. You can go in here to the cybersecurity dashboard, see all of the activity that's been going on, what the WAF has blocked, for you um, and where your threats are coming from. So as you can see, this website has a lot of traffic from Russia. This happens to be an antique store that is in the US and has no customers in the Russian Federation. So we're going to go ahead and block activity from there. So rather than having to type in Russian Federation and making sure that I spell it correctly, we can go ahead and tell it here and it'll automatically copy it in. And then we can go ahead and allow block, etc. from there. 
go ahead and save that. Um, let's go finally to one last section where this customization is going to be great. Uh, basically, you can come in here and you see unknown users have been coming to your site. Um, let's see if we can find a nice one. All of these different instances where somebody has tried to do something on this site and uh, the WAF has protected the site from us. If you had that specific client coming in and doing the uh, CSRF uploads, for, for instance, uh, you would be able to see their IP address and then rather than having to copy this, paste it, uh, et cetera, so you can go ahead and make a rule right there um, and apply it, at which point it'll go ahead and automatically pull in that IP address right there for you. You can give a specified name so you know which one it is, that, that this is Joe or this is a hacker or whatever, and go ahead and save. It's very intuitive, very nice. And finally, if you can't figure it out, there's a specific rule that you know you want, um, or you're afraid you haven't caught the rules or made the rules that you need, you can always uh, chat in and Komodo can help you, especially if you have the premium level license, uh, you actually get a dedicated security analyst for your instance, and that security analyst can help you plan out your security, uh, and that includes going through the WAF rules and building out the ones that you need for your specific site. Highly customizable, Seawatch uh, will secure your website, unlimited number of pages from all of these things. Premium is going to maximize your security and uh, maximize the security of your clients. Uh, on a closing note, I'll just highlight that there are in fact trust seals where familiar with them when it comes to SSL, but these go one step further. Basically, it will go ahead and highlight if this site is recently scanned and if it's protected, um, basically showing that your site is currently uh, safe. It'll ping back to see watch uh, and note whether or not the site is secure or not. Of course, it will never say that a site is unsecure, but it is nice to have when it is secure so that you can just add that extra level of trust to your clients and your clients' clients uh, when they're surfing the web and they want to give you their private or financial information. That's all I have for you. If you want to see more on the dashboards or anything, you can always download a free trial or go ahead and purchase Seawatch uh, from us over here at the SSL store um, for you or your clients. Of course, you also can check out the demo that Dan did going over the different uh, dashboards that Seawatch has to offer and what exactly Seawatch is. If you have any questions, contact your partner growth manager and we'll look forward to uh, helping you secure the internet. Have a great day.